Catching up with UNA head football coach Brent Deerman as the Lions get set to hit the road for the second straight week at Tennessee Tech. And coach, before we turn our attention to the Golden Eagles, let's wrap up the United Athletic Conference football game this past week and on the road at Tarleton. Tough loss. You've watched the game film. You've gotten some sleep after the, the late travel back. Coach, your final thoughts? Uh, you know, we got a lot of things we got to clean up. Uh, you know, we had some undisciplined things going on, uh, some some personal fouls that gave them life in that ball game. Um, we we were out of gaps a lot of times defensively. We um, we probably tried schematically to do too much with our corners. Uh, you got to give them a little bit more help sometimes in a game where you're playing uh, a good receiving core like Tarleton State's got. Um, you know, but I thought Tarleton came out and they played hard. I told our guys yesterday, I thought they were tougher than us. Uh, we can't have games that, that uh, the other team is tougher than we are. You know, five turnovers on offense uh, comes back to bite us in the rear end. Um, you know, you had 560-something yards of offense. But when you turn over five times, you're not going to win a football game. So uh, we got to clean up the turnovers. We got to clean up, you know, they, they played us uh, man coverage most of the game. Um, I thought for the most part, we did a good job beating man. We had some open guys that we got to hit uh, more often. but. Um, we got to just tighten up some screws a little bit before heading into another good road opponent. 109 total plays run, coach, a school record, over 500 yards of total offense for the second consecutive week. Quarterback Noah Walters got a lot of players involved, coach. Did you like seeing that? Yeah, you like getting a lot of guys involved. You, um, as, as a player, you, you want to feel like you attributed. Uh, you want to feel like you uh, uh, helped the football team out. And the more guys that get involved in touching the football, um, it, it's even better for us. We think we got a, a lot of weapons on our side of the ball. Um, Noah did a, a fantastic job of getting it where it's supposed to be and distributing the football. So, um, you know, tough loss with, with uh, J.D., of course. Uh, now we just gives an opportunity for somebody else to step up and, and join that core of uh, players that we trust in. After a long flight to Texas, Coach, now we get a short bus ride up to Cookville, Tennessee. What's the outlook on Tennessee Tech? You know, great football team. You know, they, uh, they're they 0-2 right now, uh, but they're not an 0-2 football team. Um, I know their head coach really well. Actually, uh, when he was the head coach at Cumberland, I was a player at Bethel. So I've played against him. Um, I've, I've coached, uh, coached against Cumberland as, as well. Uh, and his ties to Tennessee Tech of uh, being an alumni there, that school means so much to him, and, and he pours into those players as an alumni. Um, he does a really good job, and he's got a staff that do a really good job. So uh, we've got to bring our A game up to, to Cookville, Tennessee, and, and we know we've got a, another tough road opponent. Tough road test coming up. Coach, thanks for the time. Best of luck. Thank you. Roll lines.